what we need is to see the original. But this is, but, but, but I think that when we get it thinner, like we can get down to like an eighth of an inch, mm -hmm. then it won't feel like it's so beefy. So this feels a little beefy. I want to look like it's almost like another, just like a layer of the painting. Open up a couple of those Photoshop documents, the, the, the ones. yeah, the eight ones. Okay. See if we can make this, so I think that it's either this one or this one, your choice. My name is Nathan Peck, and I'm a sculptor, painter, video artist, and I teach at St. Xavier University. I generally will go into a project with a direction, but without an agenda. You create a process, you create a, a way to make art, and then the, the, the art has to come out of that process. Right now, the way that I'm making this art is, is very intentionally with other people. I, I spent the last two years working by myself, and I need to work around other people. And working with my students, one of the nice things about it is that they're really here as, as another voice, as another, you know, um, part of the conversation. One of the most important things that an artist has is, is, is the opportunity to be creative and the opportunity to invent things, create things, make things out of nothing or make treasure out of trash. And, and I do a lot of that. I make a lot of art out of discarded items in one way or another. But also the idea to just come up with an idea that doesn't exist and you make it exist. The best example of that is just where you sort of take an idea from one place and an idea from another place and just jam them together. This particular group of works sort of spawned from a project that I did in 2009, and that was uh, um, the 200th anniversary of Lincoln's birthday. So I just sort of started playing with this idea for the first time then, which was sort of jamming together the 1860s and the 1960s, sort of in a pseudo history sort of way. The thing that I've always appreciated the most about Lincoln is the fact that you can't escape him as a person, a persona. He's just part of what it is to be, uh, you know, on this earth and definitely in this country and definitely in this state. That makes him a pop icon, a popular culture icon. And so what I really wanted to do at that time was immediately slam them together with Andy Warhol. So like you have the 1860s and the 1960s together, you've got Lincoln and Warhol just sitting next to each other, sort of talking to each other. You know, it's nonsense, but at the same time, it makes some sort of sense. If I'm exploring art, central to that is the idea of inventing something. And so my, my particular process in this particular project is, has been to, you know, try to invent something, try to play with something, and, and try to play with associations. It has, it has to sort of hit at least two different notes. And one note is, ah, oh, you know, like, I see what's going on there. And it has to be kind of fun. But it also then immediately has to sort of melt a little bit tart or sour, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, yeah. And the way that I've tried to do it with this particular one is to just do definite incorrect history. Mm -hmm.